Hello and welcome to Augusta Outdoors. I'm Mark Alberton. You know, on a Saturday morning, there's nothing better than homemade pancakes. And to go with those pancakes, maple syrup. But unfortunately, most of the maple syrup we get from the store is filled with high fructose corn syrup. Well, today we're gonna to talk to a man by the name of Arthur Sheely. Mr. Sheely makes his own syrup, cane syrup, the old fashioned way, and it's delicious. Stick around, I don't think you'll wanna miss this segment. Well, when I was in my teens, my early teens, my granddaddy used to grow a little patch of sorghum every year. And one year I went up there with him and my dad and my older brother and we helped him harvest the sorghum. We stripped the leaves off of it and chopped the tops off and chopped the bottoms. We put it in a wagon and we hauled it to a, a, some, a mill site where a man squeezed the juice out of it and boiled it in a, one of these long flat pans. So I had that memory in my childhood. And my friend Vince Lamb started talking about making syrup one day. So I got to looking around for a syrup mill online and they want ridiculous amounts of money for them. So I, I knew a man named Gordon, Gordon Farmer. He just about has a, a piece of everything. And I, he was a friend. I called him up and said, hey, Gordon, you got a cane mill? He said, sure, I got three of them. You want one? Got a, took a buddy with me and we dragged that thing over onto my wheelchair lift on my van and lifted it up that wheelchair lift and dragged it up in my van. The lift has not been the same since. There we go. So I figured once I got a mill, I got to find some sugar cane. So I, found, I looked in the South Carolina Market Bulletin and they were, there was a guy up in Aiken that was selling the sugar cane for 40 cents a stock. And my friend Vince said we needed about a thousand stocks to make one cooking the sugar canes. I said, okay, so I talked to the guy and said, how much you got? He said, I got about 900 stocks. And I said, good. Uh, so then I sent some friends up there to strip it and cut it. And they came back here with about a thousand stocks of sugar cane and that's what's left of the pile. And it turned out to be about five times what I needed. <laughs> but we still got two cookings off of it. So that was last year. We uh, we we made some syrup, but it was a little it was a little uh, gritty and grainy. And the second batch was a little bit better. So I said, "Well, we're gonna have to make this an annual event." So this year, I got some buddies together to uh, come out here and grind the cane and strip it. And I contacted my contact in Aiken, and this time I only bought 200 stocks, which was enough for one cooking. So we um, got out here and we cleaned it up, got the mill cleaned up and ready to go back again, oiled it up with olive oil, fixed the pole on top of it. The pole was a little pitiful looking. So we got it ground up. We ended up with about probably 40 gallons of juice and we brought it in that kettle and cooked, cooked it. Uh, we ended up using about two and a half tanks of propane and $80 worth of sugar cane this year and uh, let's see, I had to pay somebody to go chop the sugar cane, about $80. So I got about three gallons of really nice sugar cane syrup. It probably cost me about $100 a gallon. But you know, all this um, specialization, of, specialization of labor stuff, it'll only take you so far before it kills your spirit. Men and women are not insects, you know, you just gotta do other things besides your day-to-day -day vocation. For somebody that has never had cane syrup, and you're talking to them on, on camera here for the first time, what would you tell them about cane syrup versus maple syrup or versus the store brand syrup? Oh, I'd say homemade is much, much better. It doesn't have preservatives in it. It doesn't have any fructose in it. I think that fructose stuff is poison. This has got a lot of vitamins and minerals in it that your store-bought stuff doesn't have. It's not, a, it's not adulterated with water in any way. Uh, there's no quality control, it's just good stuff. And it'll, as you can see, it'll make you fat, if you, especially if you eat it with enough biscuits, as we've been doing today. But you know, some days you just gotta enjoy life. If you like what you see, please subscribe to us at Augusta Outdoors on our YouTube channel. Weekly, we'll have new outdoor related videos online and you'll be notified as soon as they're available. Thanks for watching.